Okay. I have just finished reading the first book to the series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is my roommate Doug's book that I'm borrowing. It's got five novels in one and one story. I read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The first novel of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I've seen the movie three or four times this day. And my opinion is that the movie followed the book good enough. But obviously, you know, the movie added the whole scene about Trillian not knowing that the Earth had been destroyed. And brought back the Bogans at the end. When in the book, the Bogans didn't come back at all. So they, the movie really did mess with it a lot. But the general overall arc of the thing is pretty much the same. I like Ford in the movie better. Probably just because that's how I met him first. But the Ford in the book isn't as stupid as the one in the movie. You know. And in the book, there's a reason why he doesn't know what he's doing. Why is in the movie you're kind of left to wonder? And the whole thing about that, his opponent from the running race, race from when he ran for president, that guy isn't in the movie at all. And that scene really is very strange. Even if you haven't seen the movie. You got a part where the guy's stomach comes off and it's all on the table. It's not in the movie. There's a lot of Trillion knows that the Earth was destroyed from the minute that you could find meter character, which is totally different from the movie. And the ending is different in the fact that there's only two policemen who come and shoot at Ford and Zappa and Trillion and Arthur. But Marvin still saves the day. But I think Marvin saves the day in a better way here seems so much more like Marvin. He talks to their spaceship by plugging himself into it and the spaceship itself commits suicide and the policemen are surviving on oxygen suits from there to get their power from the spaceship and when the spaceship kills itself the cops die and the other four of them can get out. Whereas in the movie Marvin uh, depresses all the Rosens and they fall over which I still like. There's no vice president in the book at all. And that's just not here at all. And I don't understand what it, that is. The trillion thing, I can understand why they did that with the movie. You know, because I think they were trying to go about it without. Like, they didn't want to make a second movie. They just wanted to make the one movie. And the book, if you just read the first story, it leaves a lot of questions off as to what happened to Zapphot's brain. And with the movie, well, they just had to go back and read Zapphot's second head. So that was it. And they could just do the movie with that. And they wouldn't need to think about making they wouldn't have to make a cliffhanger like the book does and then not come back to finish it. They could just end it. I think that's why they did the movie that way. You know. um, well, I still think, I would say, within a range of 60 to 75 to 80 percent, well, no, not 80 percent, 60 to 72 percent, of the book and the movie is the same. Most of it is. But like the 30 or so percent that isn't the same is so completely different. It's crazy. My favorite part in the book was the uh, part that wasn't in the movie at all.
remember where it was, but it was the part with the two philosophers, right before the deep thought says to come back in seven and a half million years. That's my favorite That's the part. Here it is. I'll just read part of it. It's pretty long. It's pages 114, 115, and 116 if you have the book. So it's pretty cool. It it's the part with Room Fondle and Kinski. Not in the movie. These two philosophers and barge in as these two other people. They've created this giant computer that's supposed to predict and tell them the answer to everything, the meaning of life and everything. And these two philosophers come in and say, You can't do that, because then we'll be out of the jobs as philosophers. And the computer, which is called Deep Thought, tells them all. Okay, give me seven and a half million years, and then I'll have the answer. And meanwhile, you two can be filthy rich. I'm guessing what it is my answer's going to be. You may read that. But what's funny here is that conversation. Um, Vroom Fondle comes in and he says, We demand that you can't keep us out. Who are you? said the monk uncle. What do you want? The other said, I am Kinski. I'm paraphrasing it. And I demand that I am Vroom Fondle. Mackenzie said, It's okay. You don't need to demand that. Alright. I am Vroom Fondle. And that is not a demand. That is a solid fact. What we demand is solid facts. No, we don't, exclaimed McKinsey in irritation. That is precisely what we don't demand. Vroom Fondle sat shouted. We don't demand solid facts. What we demand is a total absence of solid facts. I demand that I may or may not be Vroom Fondle. I love that so much. It's hilarious. But who the devil are you, exclaimed Boot. We, McKinsey said, are philosophers, though we may not be. Maybe the warning can be yeah. Yes, we are, insisted McKinsey. We are quite definitely here. Blah, 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 blah. And we want this machine off, and we want it off now. We demand, yelled Room Fondle, that demarcation may or may not be the problem. That's right, shouted Room Fondle. We demand rigidly defined areas of doubt and uncertainty. <laughs> we'll go on strike, he said. I just love all of Broom Fondle's lines. I think he's my favorite character ever. It's hilarious. We demand that we may, I may, or may not be Broom Fondle. <laughs> Very fun. I started the restaurant at the end of the galaxy, restaurant at the end of the universe tonight, and I'm going to begin it, but I don't know. I've got some more books in the mail. The rest of Don Miller's book. When they get here, I want to read it to Omen Dragon. So as soon as that comes, I'm going to stop wherever I am. At this I figure I'm a fifth of the way in. Four fourth. I should be able to finish it before a month is up. I don't have plenty of time. Here's the cover. And the video is just out of it. Comment if you like the movie in the book.